Hey guys, we are doing the inside current affairs for prelims in Star PT 30 September for the September month. In this today we'll do the science related CA. So the first news is about the African Health Minister. Uh, they adopted the pen plus strategy against the NCD. NCD is the non-communicable disease which was spreading in Africa. So what was the strategy? It is to address the serious NCD at first level referral health facility. This is addressing the disease at the primary level itself. The strategy is aimed at bring, uh, bridging the gap, access gap in the treatment and care of patients with chronic and severe NCD. So this will of course eventually reduce the out of pocket expenditure of the people. And the next news is related to again NCD. Uh, WHO reported that the non communicable disease, which is co like contributing to 74% of the all the death globally, is due to NCD. But only 5% of the uh, healthcare aid goes to prevention. So, WHO, uh, according to which, the roadmap of global action plan 2023 to 2030 for NCD. This is a step taken by WHO. They are asking for its implementation. And also the other step is the global NCD compact 2020 to 2030. In which we also have to know that India won a UN award for hypertension control initiative. And the next news is about the IIT Guwahati. The researchers there, they have developed an edible material that coated on vegetables and fruits which will substantially extend the fruits and vegetables shelf life. So the team used a mix of an extract of marine microalga called Dunalila tetiolecta and the other one is polysaccharide. So by coating them the shelf life can be extended so it contains some good uh, minerals also and then the next news is about UN it voted in favor of fair long-lasting solution for global inequity and negotiation towards the global pandemic treaty so WHO in December 2021 it has agreed to start a global process to draft the pandemic treaty and the next news is about the Lancet. So this pandemic treaty has will have the features like sharing the vaccines available and so on and so. And the next news is about Lancet. Lancet Commission was formed. So what is Lancet? It is a weekly journal started in England in 1820. Three. So they formed a commission on lessons for future from the COVID-19 pandemic. It castigated that the WHO for acting too slowly and cautiously on several important matters. So the Lancet COVID-19 commission which was established in July 2020 to 28. That is after the pandemic it was established. The commissioners were appointed as a global expert from various fields like public health, policy making etc. And the next news is about the short anti-tuberculosis treatment called BPAL. This has shown favorable outcome for 84 to 94% of the TB patients. It has been given global approval. So what is BPAL? It is a 6 month oral regimen medication. B Paul, in which B stands for bedaquiline and P A stands for pretamanide and L stands for linezolid. So this is helpful for treating the HDR TB. And India has the world's largest TB in epidemic. In 2020, India has 26% of the incident TB cases. And the next news is about the Bharat Biotech. This particular, this is a vaccine, CHAD 36 SARS CoV S. This is a COVID 19 chimpanzee adenovirus vector recombinant 
nasal vaccine so this particular vaccine by bharat biotech it has got the approval of the cdsco that is central drug standard control organization for primary immunization against covid 19 in the 18 plus age group for restricted use in emergency so india's first intra uh, this is a intranasal vaccine for covid 19 that is we have to give this vaccine through nasal passage then in co vac this is a stable this is stable at 2 to 8 degree celsius for easy storage and then distribution and the next news is about argentina which is recently spreading in argentina legionellosis legionellosis so this is a pneumonia like illness that varies in severity from mild to even it causes fatality so according to who this is a pneumonia like this is it spreads via inhalation of contaminated aerosols from contaminated water direct human to human transmission of the disease has not yet been reported as per who and the next news is about lumpy skin disease so this is a viral illness that causes prolonged morbidity in cattle and buffalo and this is caused by pox virus lumpy skin disease virus so this is first observed in zambia 1929 and this is a contagious vector borne disease and the next news is about the snake bite so half of the global death is due to venomous snake which occurs in india only and what a snake bite it is classified as a neglected tropical disease in india there are around 300 species of snakes are there of which 60 are venomous snake and 1.2 million deaths from 2000 to 2019 on an average 58000 per year is happening deaths are happening in india due to snake bite then we also have this initiative icmr national task force for research on snake bite in india this is a kind of preventive step So that's all for today. Thank you.